my teammates Leela and I will be sharing with you how to make Jamaican homemade chocolate from the Teobroma cocoa. We commonly call it chocolate, but the correct name is Theobroma cocoa. So these are freshly picked cocos. This is what we, we refer to as chocolate. So this is what we, we will use to make chocolate. We can use it to make the cocoa powder. We can make homemade chocolate from it that we can use to grate and make tea as well. This is what the um, chocolate is produced from. First, we break open the cocoa. This is what the cocoa looks like when it has been opened. We then go ahead to wash off the sticky part. After we have done that, then we go ahead to put them out to dry for up to a week. This is what the beans look like after they have yes, been dried. parching chocolate. It's not here. It's not quite ready yet. I hope you can... It one will pop or two will pop so you can hear the popping sound that it makes when the chocolate is is parching. Come on chocolate, don't do that to me. Oh come again. Yes. I'm stirring so that it don't burn. Or some don't get partial while the others don't. Yes. Yes. I hope you can hear the popping sound. Yes. Yes. Come give me another pop. Give me another pop. Don't be selfish chocolate. Give me another pop. So they are getting darker and darker. Yes, they are patching. You hear them popping. Wow, that's a loud pop. So you can tell a chocolate is parching because you can hear it popping. Break it open, the shell, cocoa bean. Go there. So this is this is another this is another stage of making homemade chocolate. Next we go ahead to add our spices, some maize from the nutmeg and some dried cinnamon leaves. We place everything together in a wooden mortar and continue to pound until all the cocoa beans become refined grains. We then place the refined grains into our palms and knead them into chocolate balls. We then place them on green banana leaves and allow them to dry. This is our finished product.